Orleans County mother faced charges for allowing a snake to bite her baby. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're learning more about this story that has caused some national outrage. The video has gone viral. A mother allowing that non-poisonous rat snake to bite her baby girl. The sheriff's office wants her charged with child abuse. Melissa Marino is joining us now live outside of the state attorney's office in Bartow with much more on this story. We now know what prosecutors are saying. They're saying not so fast, right? Yeah, that's right. Right here's a copy of what they sent back to the sheriff's office saying they need more evidence to prove this case. This is the video that started it all. A mother allowing this small non-venomous snake to bite her baby. And then this. <laughs> the baby's grandmother, Brenda St. Laurent, tells us they live in a rural area. And her daughter was just trying to teach her baby the dangers of snakes. The baby was startled by the jump. Not the bite. The bite did nothing. It, it didn't break the skin. The family says they've gotten threats. Some even saying her child should be taken away. But the court of public opinion won't have a say in this case. It's up to prosecutors. And newly obtained documents show they need more evidence. They've requested proof. Was the child injured? Also, a psychological evaluation will have to be given to the child. It would be difficult at best to do a psychological evaluation on a one-year-old. Defense attorney Rusty Franklin says proving child abuse can be tough. If we make a decision just based on what we see on a YouTube or a Facebook or things like that, without knowing a whole and complete picture that sometimes that that can be a rush to judgment. The family hopes a thorough investigation clears their name. I think people just enjoy misery making other people miserable. They get jump on a wagon even though they don't know the whole story. Well, that attorney tells us that a DCF investigation will likely play a big role in any decision that is made. Rod? Well, any uh, uh, idea just how long it's going to take to make that decision? As of now, it's not clear, but we are told if the child is not in imminent danger, they will not rush this decision. All right, Melissa Marino reporting live for us in Polk County. Melissa, thank you.